with pre-release over and Part the Mist Veil becoming available for purchase today, I thought I'd give you my 10 strongest cards from this set. And honestly, I think you're going to be surprised what number one is. Number 10 is Enigma. She's one of the three new heroes coming with Part the Mist Veil, and she is a mystic illusionist. She wants to turn all of her auras with Ward into weapons that she can use to fight against you. Kind of like Dromai with her dragons, but with Dromai you had to individually attack the dragons, whereas with Enigma you can just attack Enigma's face and she has to decide which wards she's willing to get rid of. So I think there's going to be some counterplay there. And she looks very interesting, but also pretty strong. So I'm looking here at cards that are outside of the Part the Mist Veil set that are in the Illusionist class. And there's some crazy stuff that isn't in Mist Veil. Stuff like Prismatic Shield. Uh, that card could actually be relevant. Or Haze Bending, which allows her to create more spectral shields to attack you with as you're destroying her other auras. This looks insane. I'm also looking at a lot of her cards from Mist Veil. Only like one of them has Phantasm, and Phantasm is supposed to be the counterplay to Illusionists. It, how are we supposed to counterplay if there isn't Phantasm? We'll have to fight Enigma like any other hero in the game. I just read the hero actually for the first time, kind of embarrassing, but this is just Dromai and Kasai if they had a baby. You make allies that are difficult to get rid of and you can attack for free the first turn with a weapon. It's, it, this is a mess. Also, LSS, don't you see that Prism is already running and ruining the CC format. She has tons of value-oriented angels with Ward, but she has 32 health, so you start at an advantage. Enigma has 40 health. Are you dumb? Also, have you guys ever heard of this hero, Kano? He's a wizard that plays at instant speed and is ruining the game with his uninteractable combos. And you know who else can play at instant speed now to interrupt your turn? You guessed it. It's Enigma. I started looking at non-illusionist cards for this video for some reason because all of the best cards are illusionist cards anyway, but I stumbled across this card called Cosmic Awakening. It's insane. It does 20 damage, and all you have to do is pitch three chi. 20 damage is insane, and you can run three of them, so it's basically 60 damage for three chi. That can kill any hero in the game. And you know who wants to run a lot of chi cards? I don't know the new illusionist enigma this set is going to be awful moving on to some of the equipment that's in this set it's crazy like uphold tradition more like withhold information this card has a new keyword called cloaked which basically means that as a player i can't see my opponent's equipment if it has cloak on it, they don't get to flip it up at the beginning of the game, which is insane. How am I, as a player, supposed to make extremely precise number-based decisions if I don't have every bit of information from my opponent? This is just making the game more RNG. And to top it off, this is an instant effect on the equipment that puts a plus one power counter onto a aura with ward. And you know who has auras with ward? Enigma does. Enigma does. 
Astral Etchings is a completely broken card. It puts three plus one power counters onto an aura with ward you control, but thankfully it doesn't have go again. But if you have a Spectral Shield token, they can play it at instant speed on my turn after I'm done all of my attacks. So anything with ward that they still have left up, they get to buff and then swing at me. And you're probably thinking, that probably cost a good amount of mana. No, it costs one mana. One mana, instant speed, buff a ward they control. And you're probably thinking once again, it's probably a no block or blocks for two. No, it's efficient. It blocks for three and for one mana, buffs a thing. Like, I think I'm going to quit Fab. I think this set is going to absolutely break me. I said you'd be surprised at the number one strongest card in this set. And honestly, it's embarrassing how obvious it is. And I can't believe Legend Story Studios actually printed this card. The card is called Murky Water. <laughs>